well, um, <clears throat> we'll go to fun facts about the Saints. Oh, Greg is doing great. Uh, I'm sorry, I got a lot of accoutrements here. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, I brought a lot of props. <laughs> That's no problem. C continue. <clears throat> well, let's get, let's get to the point. Um, well, today, as you can see, we have an interview today because there's someone with me um, on fun facts. And ladies and gentlemen, we are being visited by the priest and martyr, Sam Maximilian. Col Max Maximilian Colby. Colby, yes. Thanks for having me on, Nick. Of course. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> well, um... You know, you're very well known in heaven all over the place. They talk about Nick's fun facts about the saints, and people talk about when they got to be on, and, you know, people like... Uh, who's been on there a couple of times? I think Peter has been on there a couple of times, and... Oh, yes. But anyway, I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you for what you do. And for bringing attention to the to the saints, because that's what it's all about, right? That's what mm -hmm. that faith is all about: is becoming holy, becoming a saint. Mm -hmm. So well, there we go. Why don't you tell us about yourself? I will actually, right, okay. because I'm a saint. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm on fun facts about the saints. <laughs> I'll get it. All right. So <laughs> I am uh, Maximilian Kolbe. I was born in 1894 uh, in Poland. Um, and I grew up in a pious home and um, became a uh, Franciscan priest, a Franciscan uh, in Poland, even though I was very uh, frail. I wasn't of good health, but God had big plans in store for me. Hmm. Uh, and I became involved. I had a great, great devotion, Nick, hmm. to the Blessed Mother, to Immaculate Heart of Mary. Uh, I used to, I called her the Immaculata. Uh, and I was very, very big. Uh, with me and my Franciscan brothers, uh, and confrere, confreres, to uh, to pray the rosary. Uh, we pray the rosary. We had a great devotion to Mary and dedication to Mary and uh, miraculous miraculous medals. I was I used to call them silver bullets, and I used to give out miraculous medals all over the place. Miraculous mm -hmm. medals, rosaries, devotion to the Blessed Mother. That was the ticket to bring us closer to to Jesus. I firmly believed. And I was involved, Nick. I went. I was a missionary. I went to Japan. I uh, was involved in evangelization, catechizing people. Got heavily involved in publishing. Back then, there was no internet like you guys have. Uh, and we got involved in publishing magazines and newspapers and pamphlets and all kinds of things like that. Had huge printing presses. But got very involved in that. Uh, and then, in the 30s... Um, uh, I had a return to, to Europe. I had a return to Poland because of my health. Mm. And that was right around the time that World War II broke out. And Adolf Hitler was taking over Europe. And uh, there started to be this, this war. Uh -huh. uh, and one of the things uh, that Hitler did that was so awful, that was so terrible, mm. was he imprisoned and killed uh, millions of people, especially Jewish people. Um but also faithful Catholics and people of different races. Um, but uh, Hitler killed and enslaved thousands and millions of people. And unfortunately, I was one of them. I was uh, thrown into one of the, um, the camps, the concentration camps. Um, and uh, in, in Auschwitz, mm. uh, which was one of the most notorious um, and I tried to do what I could as a priest um, to encourage my brothers and sisters. And I prayed with them, prayed for them. Um, and then one day, Nick, mm -hmm. uh, and this is the famous story about, about me. One day, there was an escape from Auschwitz. Okay. And the Nazis got out all the prisoners. And they said, we're going to take 10 men. Because it was their rule that if somebody escaped... They would kill, they would execute 10 men for every man that escaped. And that was, that was a way of trying to get people not to try to escape because they, you would know that 10 people would be killed because of you. Okay. So they chose 10 men okay. that were going to be executed. And one of them turned out to be a dad, uh, a husband and a father. And he pleaded, he begged the guards. He says, please, please don't execute me because I got my family. I got to care for my family. When I get out of here, I got to care for my family. And so I stepped forward. God gave me the courage. He gave me the, the frame of mind. 
I stepped forward and I told the guard, take me instead of him. Okay, now let me just interrupt my story to tell you that I had a vision uh, as a priest that the Blessed Mother, who I was very devoted to, she came to me in a vision and she presented me a, a choice. She held out two crowns. One was red and one was white. And one represent, the white one represented uh, purity. Mm -hmm. The other represented martyrdom. And she said, which one do you want? And I said, I want both. Okay. So I did live a life of purity and holiness. And God gave me the uh, crown of martyrdom. So I stepped forward. The guard said, okay. And he let the, the, the father, the husband and father, go back into the, the crowd. And he took me instead. And they tried to starve me to death, and I wouldn't die, and I wouldn't die, and I would not die, and finally they poisoned me. So I became a martyr uh, for charity in Auschwitz. And here's the great thing, Nick. That man whose life I saved in Auschwitz mm -hmm. actually attended my canonization, and he gave witness to uh, what God was able to do th through, my, through me and my sacrifice for him. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's my story. This is, uh, this is one of my, uh, this is my prison outfit. Um, and that's my, my prison number. Uh, so those are my symbols, my prison outfit, my a crown, a rosary, a Remarcus medal, book. a book. Those are all, and my Franciscan, a Franciscan habit. Uh -huh. Those are all the symbols of my life. And I was canonized by, uh, Pope Saint, it's the saint himself. Mm -hmm. He's been on, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but you've talked about it anyway. Pope St. John Paul II in 1980. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm thinking really hard. Oh, yeah, 1981. I was canonized by Pope John Paul II, who was Polish himself. And so he had a devotion. He, he had a great admiration for my life. And, and so he was happy to uh, be the Pope that declared me a saint. And here we are. Any questions for me? Um, or do you want to go right to the prayer? Um, well, you pretty much like covered the whole story. Yeah, I did, pretty much. Uh, so when we when, when just get to the prayer. All right, then. Did you know that your uh, parents were going to name your big brother Ben Maximilian? And then at the last minute, mm -hmm. I think your dad changed his mind. And they went with Benedict Joseph. But mm -hmm. you might have had a brother Max. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. It is. I think your dad still has a devotion to me, though. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you want to know something? My, I think your mom does, too. Mm. Well, you know something? What's that? Personally, you're one of my, uh, St. St. Louis heroes. Thank you, Nick. I'm glad. I'm glad that my story's inspired you. Mm. I'm glad that God was able to do things so mighty, so mighty, mighty things to me. But you know what else? Um, you're an inspiration to me of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Trying to live a holy life and your fun facts and all the things you're doing. Mm -hmm. The way you serve people in your job. Yeah. Because I know you want to be a saint too, right? I do. Well, I pray for you. Okay? Well, speaking of praying, let's do that. All right. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. 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 Mm. Lord, you inflamed St. Maximilian with love, with an immaculate virgin, and filled with him that was a zeal for souls, and love for a neighbor. Through his prayers, grant that we may work strenuously for your glory in the service of others, and so be made conformable to your son until death. Amen. Amen. St. Maximilian, can we pray for us? I will. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Ah, oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> What's for, uh, I wish you lunch in the country. I was hoping you were going to ask Polis Sausage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, there's no announcements today. God bless you all.